I didn't plan to become a photographer. It happened accidentally. And my, my adventure with photography started like in a non-romantic way completely because I had to pass you know, this obligatory test uh, classes with photography in at the Fine Arts Academy. No idea how to use the camera. So that was, uh, that was the moment when I actually, like first time in my life, I took a camera in my hands. I immediately fell in love with uh, with taking pictures. I started to work for uh, for magazines and um, different press entities. Um, and I I started to uh, to work as a documentary photographer. I just recently noticed that for the past for the past 10 years, my kind of my visual language somehow consolidated, which is kind of comfortable, uh, but also uh, disturbing because I don't want to be trapped in certain, you know, in certain way of visual storytelling, because like different topics require, uh, potentially require like a different approaches. And I'm aware of that, but still I'm, I've been using a lot of uh, flash in, in my, uh, in my projects uh, recently. And then I started to enjoy its harshness and it's, it's uh, sort of naturalistic uh, aspect. Uh, and also I just recently realized that uh, it's somehow helped me to work in two dimensions because uh, flash kind of flattens the perspective took some pictures in different theaters and even in the opera in different places but of course uh, paris opera is one of its sort <laughs> in the globe something that surprised me was a scale i mean it was i was overwhelmed i mean i was i mean overwhelmed in the in a good way because i because it's a fascinating world and strangely it's not super far away from my interests in my personal projects which which are dealing with various sort of facades and facetic structures and this is what's uh, what's the theater about uh, amongst others right about producing or manufacturing certain reality which is alternative to the reality that we are actually living in of course the, everybody knows the phantom of the opera it was not that it was my like a uh, front idea to chase the phantom of the opera but uh i found a lot of traces of it of its presence and uh, it's like kind of twisted and sometimes funny presence uh, of 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 the of the phantom and like or my idea of the phantom because of course nobody knows certain certain locations are like imposing certain way of taking pictures i would say that were not entirely suitable for my way of picturing things so i i especially in um in um Palais Garnier, because it's it's old it's it's beautiful and it's kind of this i know romantic slash nostalgic mm -hmm. slash atmospheric whatever it means this was totally opposite of my way of working actually because you know this harsh flash flattens everything it shows all the scratches it you know, it destroys this magic, uh, you know, that, you know, I wanted to show people in the pictures, but I knew that I, we can't identify them. Uh, it doesn't matter if we talk about artists or workers. So, so that was quite a challenge, uh, you know, how to, how to show the, you know, the people's presence in the space without actually showing them what was fascinating as well was to see how how passionate people are about making things it's it's still a creative process uh, even if somebody designs something um, that you have to produce what was pretty amazing not pretty but quite amazing uh, was to be with all these physical objects scenographies spaces so that was how much, how much, how much of uh, this high-profile craftsman uh, skills it required. So that 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 was really impressive. Mm -hmm.